Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I'm here to give a general reading for the month of May for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign of Aries. And welcome to Lockdown Hair Diaries. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at the state of my hair and going, oh dear me, never mind. We'll get to the hairdressers at some point, I'm sure. Okay, let's take a little look. Cleanse the area. Let's light the candle. So as I say, this is a general reading, so it won't resonate with everyone. So please do feel free to pick up that that resonates with you and leave the rest behind. And while I am shuffling the deck and getting it ready, if you would like to like, share and subscribe to my channel, that would be so very much appreciated. I really do truly appreciate all your support, your likes, your comments, your shares and of course your subscriptions, which mean the world to me but don't cost you a thing. I will link in the description box below all the other readings for the month of May. So please feel free to check out your sun, your moon, your rising if you know them or if you're a cross watcher, welcome and please do go and check out your own. Okay, let's have a look and see what's going on with your cards. So Aries for the month of May. Okay, that was not a good start, Aries. That was me throwing half the deck across the floor. That's one way to shuffle, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let's try that again. So Aries, May, we get the Knight of Wands. We get... The Chariot. Oof, some serious action going on here. Aries May. And we get the Empress. Aries May. And we get the Page of Swords. We get the King of Swords. of Wands, Aries, May, Woo. we get the Page of Cups in the reverse, and the Page of Pentacles, Aries, May, Aries, May. One more, please. That's too many. We have the Seven of Wands. And overall energy is the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So you may have some love coming in this month, Aries. We have the Knight of Cups, Mr. Romance, Mr. I want to come in and offer you my heart, offer you the chance of love, offer you the chance of romance. And the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Feels, the Queen of Love, the Queen of intuition and romance once again you may have a water sign coming across your field here in the month of may so that's cancer pisces scorpio um and they they could be coming in with a new offer of love or if you're in a relationship then it could just be your current relationship being given space to grow and getting 
getting to the next level. But there's certainly a lot of love in the month of May. I've got to be careful I don't flick my hair too hard. I've got a lit candle behind me. I'm just going to move forwards a little bit, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a little look at what's going on here apart from the love. With the love, I might add, you have the Page of Cups and he was in the reverse, but that's because he fell on the floor and that's how he was propped up against the table. So he may not be in the reverse, but the Page of Cups is bringing you that new offer of love. When he's in the reverse, then it may not be the most... Um, you know, the most mature offer of love, shall we say. Um, it, but it can also be that you're missing the signs somehow. So if you are um, looking for love and you're not seeing those signs, pay attention, make note, you know, because this is something that is... That is something that, you know, that you need to, to see and experience if this is what you want. So pay attention to those signs. Use your intuition. Use that, um, the, the uh, serendipity of situations to recognise that signs are being given to you. So you do have this overarching love connection coming in over the month of May, but that's not all that May is about. So let's get into the rest of the reading and find out what else is on offer for you here. So we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is the bringer of joy and creative expression. You know, that those new creative ideas, that new inspiration, something coming in to really kind of light you up and give you that sense of purpose once again. Wands are fire energy, so they're very creative and very um, very sparky. And if this is to do with the relationship that may be coming your way with the new love, then this could mean that it's going to be a very passionate relationship with that fiery wand energy there, which we like. But also knights come in on horses, so they also represent momentum, movement, moving forwards, getting on with the job in hand. So if this is something that is related to your work, related to any projects you're working on, or related to love, you can expect some movement here. And a lot of joy to come in as well. Now this... To me, this is quite a um, a heavy dosed love reading, but I will read it in both terms, not just as a love reading, because this is a general reading for May. So although there is that offer and that connection of love with that queen of, of hearts there, that queen of cups, you know, there is there is other stuff that is going on as well. So don't despair if you're not interested in love. Okay. We then have the chariot next to that Knight of Wands. Now the chariot is here. This is Cancerian energy. So again, you may well be dealing with a Cancer here if this is to do with love. Um, you have the white horse and the black horse. They're trying to go in opposite directions. The chariot, chariot, there. Yeah can't speak, the chariot driver's job is to steer them both in the same direction and move those horses forwards at a rapid pace. This is to do with momentum once again, getting something going. So if this is love, it's about it coming in fast and it coming in at a pace and it coming in with passion and joy and creative expression. If this is to do with um, a work project or something that you want to be creating yourself with that creative energy of that knight of wands there. Again, this is about gaining that momentum, about getting things going, about lighting that fire under your bottom and getting going. And it may be a new project you are working on. We have the Empress card here, divine feminine energy. The Empress is 
the creator, she births forth all those new ideas, those new inspirations, those new creations. She's been working on them with the, with the skills and the magic and the, the knowledge and the know-how, and now she's birthing them into being. She's literally like Mother Nature here. She's using her earth magic to create something new and inspirational. Now, this could symbolize a new love for some of you. This, again, could just be to do with a new project or a new work endeavor or a new venture of some description that you are about to embark upon. But May is all about you getting that momentum, getting it going, getting things moving. Now, Aries, you are the first sign of the zodiac. So your sign is all about taking action. It's all about movement and momentum and looking after yourself. And, you know, and this is what this energy of May is here to bring you. It is bringing you the support for you to get going, to take that action, to be inspired and move forwards and to plant those new ideas and watch them grow in that fertile soil. We also have here the Page of Swords. Pages are messengers. Now, this is a messenger bringing you new knowledge, new inspiration. Maybe you want to um, change direction in your career or something and you want to and you need to embark on some kind of course or reading a book or something that you need to gain that knowledge about. But they could also just be bringing you that message themselves, bringing you that information. Now, this is air energy. Um, so that's a Gemini, a Libra or Aquarius. So you may be getting some information from one of those three that is going to um, to help to progress you in some way. Now, this could be, like I say, because you have the love that is overriding here, this could be a new information about a new partner, a new person that you're interested in or is interested in you. Um, this could be to do with a new project, a new direction at work, something that you are working on that you need to get some new information about, some new knowledge about. It's also to do with communication. So this is communication coming into you and you being presented with an opportunity to communicate your ideas, your hopes, your ambitions, your your whatever, you know, that you want, your love, if that's what you want. Um, but... Uh, but this is all about information and communicating that information. And we then have the King of Swords next to that Page of Swords. So the page is now turned into the King. The King, he is very intuitive, but he's also very knowledgeable. He knows stuff. He is the leader. He is very dynamic and forthright. And he he's very honest and truthful he's also very strong so he he does represent to me he represents a leader so this could be a boss figure or it could be you becoming the boss you stepping up taking that promotion or um starting your new company and being in charge of employees whatever that is but this king of swords here he represents knowledge he represents truth he represents the art of communication and he's very, very direct. You know, he's not going to mollycoddle you. Um, he's going to tell you it exactly like it is. But he is um, very clear thinking and, like I say, a really good communicator. So there will be no misunderstandings if you can communicate openly with this person. Now, underneath that Empress card, next to that King of Swords, we have the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands, when he's paged with the, oh, paired, not paged, paired with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups there, the Four of Wands to me can represent your relationship going to the next level. You know, it's that 1111. You've got the, the four ones there making the 1111. It's the portal card. It's the card of going, going through the portal to another realm, you know, ascending to another level. So it may be that your current relationship is going to expand and extend into that 
that next level in the relationship, whether that's marriage, moving in together, whatever that represents to you, starting a family with that Empress card up above it. Um, you know, so it can be to do with relationships, but it's also just a card of celebration, a card of joy and inspiration here again. So we have that Knight of Wands and we have that Four of Wands. So we are getting to that point of creative endeavours paying off to the point where you get to celebrate them, you get to enjoy them, you get to, to embark on something that makes you feel good. We also have the Page of Pentacles here. The other page in this, we have the Page of Cups, the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So we have all four of the elements represented here. And the Page of Pentacles is there to say, like, here's your new idea. Start to work on your, your skills, start to hone your skills, start to become that expert in your field that you need to become. Become that go-to person. They bring you in that message of working on something to build it, to create it, to make it better, to, to work together with others. That cooperation, that communication, all of that stuff is feeding into it with that page of pentacles here in this particular reading. So you are... Some of you are looking at um, building something and, make, you know, you've, you're birthing this new idea and building it and creating it, making it better, honing your skills, working on your knowledge, working on what you know and really becoming the expert in your field that you need to be. And then we end with the seven of wands and the seven of wands is that reminder to keep yourself grounded, you know, um, so especially as it's next to that page of pentacles there, but also as it's underneath that four of wands there, the seven of wands is there to remind you that, you know, although you need to keep yourself grounded, as you can see here, she is sat in the lotus position. She is, um, she has got her solar plexus chakra lit up there so she's grounding herself to the earth because the earth is where the magic is empress card the earth is where you you put your desires your wishes your hopes your dreams into the earth the earth magic then brings them up and puts them into the 3d in combination with drawing down the inspiration from above from the cosmos um but it's also a reminder to to remember to share your light, to share your ideas, to share your creativity. Show people what you are and what you are made of and what you are capable of in a positive way. Because this is something that is going to happen quite quickly for you. It is something that is that is in its um, in its beginning stages. Some of you may be further along than others. But this is something new, something that's bringing you the joy, something that's bringing you that inspiration and that creative energy that you need in order to progress and become happy. This is about abundance. This is a very abundant reading, whether it's an abundance of love, an abundance of money or an abundance of joy. You know, this is this is an abundant reading here with with the knights, the kings, the the you know all the ones that you have here, and let's not forget the chariot, that energy of driving something forwards, of being in control, of really going for what you want. So all you need to do, my lovely Aries, is you need to just think: what is it that you actually want? What do you want to achieve in the month of May? What are your goals? What are your ambitions? What are your desires? If it's love that you want to bring in, then love is here for you. If it is creative energy you want to bring in, creative energy is here for you. If it's new ideas, the new ideas are here for you. You know, it's all here. It's all laid out for you. The opportunity to make money, the opportunity to be successful, the opportunity to be happy and be joyous and and feel the love. It's all here for you, Aries. So you just need to decide what it is you want. What do you want to work on? Where do you want to go? What do you want to have achieved by the end of the month of May? And let people know, because don't hide your light under a bushel. 
You need to let people know what you want. You need to let the universe know what you want. And you need to let people know what you can do and what you can offer. Okay, let's have a little look at the Work Your Light Oracle. See if we can get some more information for my lovely Aries, please. Thank you. Okay, that was too many. Let's try that again. More information for my lovely Aries, please. Else do my lovely Aries need to know, please? Thank you. Okay. We have the initiation, rite of press there. I cannot speak today, Aries. Rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So you are about to cross that threshold, Aries. Where do you want that threshold to be? This is that Four of Wands card, crossing the threshold, going through the portal. You can see here this dark and dismal sort of sky with the lightning and, and the shadows and everything. But there is the utopia on the other side of this card. So what is that portal that you want to go through? What is that threshold you want to cross? What do you want? I love that. And we have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. Oof. I love that. I love that. So you are being supported here by the Sisterhood of the Rose. Beauty and devotion to what you want is what is going to give you what you want. So, you know really know what it is you want that mystic teacher you know listen listen to the and follow those signs remember i said the page of cups in the reverse is missing the signs look for those signs and follow them don't be distracted by mundane things and really focus on that higher energy your higher self Okay, I am going to take a butterfly oracle card. These are for life changes. And we have healing from the past. So some of you, you know, in order to get through that initiation, that rite of passage, some of you will have some healing from the past to do. Anything else for my lovely Aries? Yes, apparently. And we have body changes. So you may be going through a bit of a metamorphosis at the moment. Perhaps your gyms have opened up where you are and, uh, and you're able to get back into them. Whatever that means to you, some body changes may be occurring for you right now. I would like a star seed oracle. Still trying not to set fire to my hair as I lean over. Okay, these are Rebecca Campbell, same as the Work Your Light oracles, which was the first cards I picked. The butterfly ones were um, Doreen Virtue. Let's see. Have got anything else? My lovely Aries, please. Yes. We have empathic. Empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. So this may be what you need to heal from. So stop absorbing other people's energies in a negative way and really look at what it is that is yours and what is not yours and release what is not yours. So there is some need for some spiritual work for you here. 
I don't know where to put those. Not there. Right, let's take a Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. These are Colette Baron Reed. And we have the Web Weaver. Synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. I love that. I love that. So again, it's telling you, look out for those signs. What are the synchronicities that are appearing to you right now? There is a web that is being weaved around you. What is that trying to tell you? You know, there, there's, again, tapping into that divine energy, tapping into your higher self and understanding what your purpose is here for May, whether that is something to do with love or whether that is something to do with work, you will know. And that was just something to do with me throwing cards on the floor. Oh dear. Else do my lovely Aries need to know? Thank you. And we have Between Worlds. Again, we've got that initiation, that rite of passage. You're between worlds right now. That Four of Wands, that portal card. We have you coming out of the shadow and into the full technicolor. But you are straddled between the worlds. This means that you have access to both sides. So see what is being offered to you. What is being shown to you? What are you missing right now? Okay, let's take a look at Healing with the Fairies. Here's our Doreen Virtue. And we have be honest with yourself. I don't need to explain that. <laughs> be honest with yourself. Take that time to ground and really be honest with yourself about what you want this month. Because it, it can easily come to you. That's the thing. You just need to see the signs. See the signs. Okay, what else do my lovely Aries need to know? Thank you. And we have Miracle Healing. I love that. So anything that has caused you to feel um, out of alignment, unbalanced in any way, there is Miracle Healing there for you this month. Let's take a look at Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. These are also Doreen Virtue. What else do my lovely Aries need to know, please? Thank you. We get Stay Optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before a miracle occurs. I love that. It's one of my favourite cards in this deck. Love that. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. That could be a miracle of finding your love. It could be a miracle of your business taking off. It could be a miracle of whatever, whatever that is to you, you know, but don't quit right before it happens. And let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. Okay, my lovely Aries, I hope this resonated with you. Do drop me a comment in the comment box below. Let me know your thoughts. And please also remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful May. You can catch all my other videos. I do fortnightly videos for love and money. They kind of overlap on one another so that you're never without a video that goes over those two weeks. Um, so depending on what you're interested in, if you're interested in both love and money, you can check those out. Um, if you're just interested in one or the other, then feel free to just check those two out. But they go a little bit more specific. This is a lot more general. Um, but they are all general readings. So um, do please feel free to pick up anything that resonates and leave the rest behind. But until next time, please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. 
Namaste.